Hello pianist. Today we'll learn how to play hand over hand arpeggios. We'll also add the damper pedal and dynamics to add extra beauty to our playing. Okay, so we have talked about major chords so far, which are some of the building blocks of music. Remember they use those skips. I play them with fingers one, three, and five. You can see a C major chord with C, E, and G. So playing a blocked chord means literally all of the notes down at the same time. Right hand blocked, roll off. Left hand blocked, roll off. You want to play something more beautiful and accompanimental, we might want to arpeggiate the chords. Arpeggiate comes from a harp term. If they strum the individual strings, that's arpeggiating a chord or playing them broken at different times. We're gonna work with our C major chord to start. I'm gonna teach you how to play a three octave hand over hand arpeggio. Like the name says, I'm gonna play my left hand, right hand, left hand goes over, I'm gonna use my two finger to play the higher C. Notice I just shift my weight left and right, never slide on the piano bench. A great way to practice those is first by blocking it, just to find your positions on the keyboard. So I'm going to block left hand, right hand, left hand, two over, right hand blocked, left hand blocked. So notice the right hand stays stable in its position, only the left hand is moving over. I'll play that again, play along with me, C chord blocked, right hand C major, left hand two over, right hand C. And I would encourage you to practice in key groups, keys that feel the same underneath your hands, just to learn the topography of the white and black keys within your hands. So G major, hopefully you've discovered, also has an all white chord. So you can go in an arpeggio in G major, G, B, D. Also F major is an all white triad, F, A, C. Helps you find the different notes on the keyboard. You're having to use that visual look of where those white keys are. D major is a white to black. Uses that F sharp in the middle A, D, F sharp, A. E major is also a white, black, white tread. E, G sharp, B. Also A major is white, black, white. A, C sharp, E. We have black, white, black key groups. D flat is D flat, F, A flat, D flat, F, A flat. You can also call it C sharp major. A flat major, A flat, C and E. And E flat, E flat, G, B flat. keys to go through for our major keys. This is kind of the odd man out group. B flat is the first one, then we'll go into to B and F sharp. B flat, D and F as we learned in a previous video. B major, go up by half steps. You have a white, black, black triad. B, D sharp, F sharp. Last key group is all black. F sharp, or you could also call it G flat. I'll name it according to F sharp. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. So there's all of your major keys as three octave hand over hand arpeggios. If you feel like, okay, those are comfortable, I want to be able to span more of the keyboard, you can also play a five octave hand over hand arpeggio. I'm going to start with my left hand on the second C on the piano, my right hand on the third C of the piano. I'm going to arpeggiate left hand. One, two, three, four. Left hand on the top C there. Back down right hand, left, right, left. And again, if that's too hard to first arpeggiate it, which it often is, just block it first. Left, right, left over, Bring that right hand from under, right hand, left hand to C. I'm just shifting to the right. Okay, you can also practice those on the other keys. To add some extra beauty to it, I'm gonna use my right foot 
on your far right damper pedal. If you only have one pedal with an electronic piano, that is your damper pedal. It's just going to let the sound ring. So I'm just gonna put my heel flat on the floor, the ball of my foot flat on that damper pedal. And I can keep it down for an entire arpeggio. Here's C major with the damper pedal. Done. I'm just going to lift the damper pedal up with my hands. One last step to add some beauty. Add some dynamics, which are the volumes, the louds and softs in music. Typically, when we play lower, we're going to go higher, we get louder. So I'm going to start soft, or piano is the name for that. As I go higher, I get louder, press more into the keys. And I lighten up my touch. So you can practice those arpeggios. To put this into practice, you can find a favorite piece that you like and practice arpeggiating the chords as we learned today. So let's say you have a piece that has C major, you could arpeggiate C, E, G. Perhaps the next chord is F major. Then we go to G major. And it ends with C. Arpeggiated chords are the easiest way to really add accompaniment beauty to music, add some dynamics, add some pedal. I'll teach you in some upcoming videos how to change the pedal in between all of your chords. Happy practicing.